How you doing everyone? This is day three of training week right here in Belgium. We've got a very different scene here today. We're right down at the bottom end of the match length. I'll show you in the more in a moment. Um, it's it was forecast to be about 22 degrees today. Uh, it's definitely not that at the moment. It's very very cold in that wind. The wind is it's a cold wind. Everybody says that a wind on this venue is going to help the fishing. So obviously we're expecting that to help if that's true. Obviously that's the locals saying that so they know the venue better than anybody else. We've got cloud cover as you can see and again we're imagining that that's only going to help. So it's only just gone half past eight. The lads or, or the training session today is ten until three just like all the previous two days and the days for the through the rest of the week. We're just getting the bait together now. As you can imagine we've really got two teams here for this kind of event and that's what these uploads are all about so thank you for all the great messages so far. You've seen lots of things that you perhaps you didn't know about or you weren't aware of and the two basically teams you've obviously got the anglers and they're the ones that are you know we're trying to do the best for them to help them focus on the fishing you know they're trying to work this venue out they're trying to work on their approach the tattle that they need their approaches and then you've got the other team that are really kind of looking after the bait you've got eddie bryden you've got graham west you've got rich wilson and i'm kind of helping out wherever i can with it and you know they're doing a fantastic job with the bait and stuff and, th and that's what we're doing right now we're actually just on this car park here the venue is just over that bank behind me where you can see the vans so i'm going to take you over there in a minute but eddie is just finishing off the worms rich wilson's done all the rest the maggots pinkies all that sort of stuff he's done all that in the buckets ready for the lads and eddie is just finishing off the worms and then we can obviously take the bait down to the lads here's eddie morning eddie Jamie. morning mate. mate what are we doing mate just reducing some worms down yeah we're running all the worms through get all of them off them yep get them into the tubs like that let them condense down yep get a few more on top let them condense down again eventually we've got so that it's like a dome shape on the top yeah we get the lid on so we've got 100 percent worms in every tub which got will you. work out at about half a kilo per pot okay because we you've under international rules you've only got a set amount of bait and you're, you're right. only allowed so much aren't you we're allowed one of them pots full yep so by the time you get your pot on your lid on like that yep there's another pile of worms to go on top yet yep and then get the lid on crush them down so they've got maximum amount of worms got you and timing's key with this as well isn't yeah. it you can't do this the night before Obviously, can you what we do is we riddle it off yep we've got the fine paint there which will give the lads a bag yep to put in with the worms on the bank that's yep. got to go in with your ground bait yep and when we start off we've got as you can see in here oh yeah yeah so yeah, what we really do is we leave them let the the big stuff come to the top, clean it off. Yep. And then you're just left with a nice, just over half a kilo of neat worms. And Brilliant. the lads don't have to fight about picking any muck out or bits of wood or bark, whatever, in with a peat. Brilliant, nice and it one, saves mate. Saves time and it's nice for them to chop up. And he's done, done a brilliant job with this. And obviously, you can see all the baits laid out here. The lads have been getting huge respect from the lads this week for the quality of bait and just the way they've organised it. And uh, and obviously, this is training week. This will change slightly, won't it, for the weekend? You'll be doing it slightly different for Saturday, Sunday, won't we? Yeah. We're obviously here now doing it on the morning. We wouldn't be doing this like this on, uh, at the weekend. But you can see the lads have got Richard's just going through the Joker, as you can see. I think he's done the blood worm and that's the feed joker. This is tomorrow's this is tomorrow's joker. This is tomorrow's in. joker. We picked this up today, but we're gonna be using this tomorrow, we're just making sure it's spot on. So you've got to think about your next step, you know, preparing bait for tomorrow. It's like when they've left the digs today, they're gonna to be, you know, quite often they'll leave bait out for tomorrow, so it's gonna be alright for tomorrow. So that not only are they managing today's bait, but they're actually managing it for you know for the for the coming days as well. We've got fresh bait coming out, we've ordered some bait from the tackle shop. There we go, and that's the final dollop going in. Top like that. That's it, as you can imagine, the more the worms are riddling, the quicker this process can be, but you've got to think of the quality of the worm as well. There you go. Fantastic, and that is loaded, ready to go into... That's it. That one is for Waco. And each one of those buckets will get taken. We're just about to take them over the bank, down to the lads, and that's why I'll show you the pegs now. So we've got the wind, it's actually coming from that direction, so hopefully you can hear me all right. We've got parking here just this side of the bank. This particular bucket is Waco's, so you're witnessing the delivery of it. And as we go over the steps, morning, morning. morning. There we go. There's the venue. Huge expanse of water. Just so you know where we are. In previous vlogs, 
we've been over there that is C D and E section over there down here is B and right down here is A section that is our first angler today I was just sticking up that's Lee Kerry and this is the first box which goes down into this corner bit of an unknown it does seem like a dead end but that's what we're here to find out to see if there's gonna be some fish here let's get this bucket to wake up Few lads here congregating already. Jimmy, morning. Morning. Morning, morning. Doing a fantastic <laughs> job. All got Tom is there. Lads are doing a great job organising everything. Rob's there sticking up and not talking to him because I don't want him to lose count. He's got his tongue out. Hopefully that's not going to be out all day. Mr. Freeman, morning. just taking it steady. You know, he's like an Italian. He's got his espresso on the go. Just He's got all day. These lads have got plenty of time to set up. This is Waco. So we'll just plonk his bucket there for him. He doesn't have to do anything now other than those little tweaks that we talked about and that's it there's mick on the mpeg sticking up and this is the home for the england team today well we've got a busy next 45 minutes now the lads are really taking care of themselves as regards the tackle and the kit where they're going to fish we've now made sure that they've got all the bait that they need so the next job for us is to head off to our respective sections um, all three of us are going to be off on different sections watching different teams for me personally I'm going to be up in box five which is just up there where I'm going to be watching uh, the Dutch team there's Eddie finishing off the delivery doing a great job so I'm going to be on box five watching uh, Holland today so what I'll do is I'll check in with you after uh, after the session just to let you know what we've seen what we've learned or maybe what we haven't seen and what we haven't learned but it's going to be an interesting day today we're hoping this is going to be one of the best boxes that England's drawn this week. Hopefully it's going to give us a chance to, to get a few bites, get a few fish. The previous two days have been poor sections and when there aren't many fish feeding it's difficult to spot patterns and feeding and, and techniques and, and all that sort of stuff so we're hoping that's going to happen here but for my personal job today I'm going to be up there watching the Dutch so I'll check in with you straight after the session. Well that's been an incredibly interesting session it's very very windy you can probably see the flags blowing this is box five where the Dutch have been today this is where I've been based as you can see it's very windy you probably can't hear me so I'm going to take you down the boat where you can uh, where you can hear me all right but that's been my home for today box number five the wind has actually got stronger just going to head down here to the car park to where you can hear me all right or hear me better anyway it's been a really interesting session I know this morning obviously I showed you a little bit of the behind the scenes kind of thing but obviously this bit has been all about the fishing um, the Dutch they've caught a few fish they've caught a few breeds there's been a few roach caught some asp and little perch and that sort of thing but it's been by far um, a perfect session for them to be absolutely honest I spoke to Jan van Schendel who's the Dutch manager and uh, it really feels as though you know it's been a little bit of a uh, not an ideal day for them to be fair even though they've caught a few fish it has been evident that the top end of this of this bay which is going right the way up towards uh, the end of B section it sounds like it's fished much better up there or a little bit more uh, consistent I think that's the right word and and so once again this has been well it's the, now the end of the third training day and again it's leaving lots and lots of questions about this venue you know as, re as regards um, we, we know there are differences in depth we know there are areas that are better than others but also now we've got you know there are areas that where the water is a little bit more colored there are areas where it's a little bit clearer and it looks like that's having a bit of an impact as well just to add all that to the equation it's um we knew it was going to be like this but not quite as diverse so i'm just going to get in here because that wind is still blowing around the van so hopefully you can hear me better in here yeah we, we, we honestly felt it was going to be quite a diverse venue and it, it's proving to be even more diverse than what we thought even within the space of two pegs there are differences in depth you know i spoke to one angler today who on one of the sections on his rod that was clipped up he had a count of 11 seconds and he's literally walked two pegs to his left and he's had a count of four so that's a seven second difference in depth just over the space of two pegs which is just un unbelievable you know so 
As regards formulating the team plan, um, I, I, I honestly can't see how it's going to happen at the moment. I just honestly think there's going to be a case of spending time on the venue, experiencing what's happening, hearing what's happening elsewhere, and then, you know, on the day, whatever peg you get, just read your peg, just see what it's like, see where what the depth's like, see if there's weed there, and then just make your decisions based on that, because there's so many different differences so many variables it, it, it's going to be impossible to to put a you know a plan together but having said that we've got two more days left so we've got one more day training on this bank we're a little bit further up to the right from where i've been today about probably three four boxes to the right so we're hoping that's going to be an area they've caught one or two fish in that area today that box however hasn't been fished today so that means that there hasn't been any bait going on that box so which isn't ideal but we're heading there tomorrow, or the England team are. I won't be there, I will be watching another box tomorrow, another nation. Uh, and then on the final day, we're back over on, on, on the peninsula, over on uh, D section, in an area that has up to now been very hard as well. So, you know, from what I hear, the England box today has fished incredibly difficult. You know, we, we did say, as I showed you this morning, it does, does go down into a bit of a corner down there and it looks like there haven't been any fish down there at all, uh, you know, so it's going to be a very difficult discussion tonight um, as regards what the plan is for tomorrow, so, but this is, it's not only international fishing, this is fishing, you know, this happens on venues all over the world, whether it's a club match, an open match, a qualifier, whatever, it doesn't matter what it is, you've got to try and work the venue out and you need to spend time on the venue and then put your heads together um, and, and, and come up with some sort of, a, of an idea of how to approach it, certainly under the team conditions. So um, it's been it's been very blustery. It's been a bit of a tiring day to be honest. So I'm just going to head back to the England box now. Go and see the lads, get the van loaded up, get the bait uh, in the van what's left over, and then get back to the digs to get the bait prepped so that it's in tip top condition, ready for another day on the bank tomorrow. So I really hope you're enjoying these behind the scenes kind of looks at this kind of a contest. If if you are doing them, please please give this one a thumbs up. You know it really makes a difference to um to us producing these videos for you um, and you know if you want to stick around and see more videos like this then obviously hit subscribe uh that would be hugely appreciated so we're going to head back now and prepare for tomorrow there will be another upload for you tomorrow which will be day four of training where we're going to be reporting from a completely different box and we're hoping we're going to see a little bit of a change in the way it's fishing so i look forward to seeing you tomorrow <music>